Hi, it's Karen here. Thank you for joining me. Um, well, keeping in our theme of um, autumn, it's mushroom time here in the UK. So I thought we would do some little watercolour, abstracty kind of lyrical whimsy, if you like, um, uh, mushrooms. So here we are. It's um, using watercolour and uh, again using pen and ink, either a gel pen or something similar. Uh, so this is what we're going to be painting. I'll put all the description uh, in the description below um, the materials that I use. And uh, here we are. And let's um, let's get on with it. So I'll set this one aside and. Here we go. Um, I'm just going into burnt sienna and I'm just doing a, a circle. And that's kind of like the, um, I suppose, the, the stem stalk. Yes, the stalk of the mushroom. Now, I'm not getting caught up with, uh, you know, it's got to be precisely fantastically correct i'm working on um, dry watercolor paper and nice loose um, watercolor now we do need to keep a thought on our white space so it's kind of concentral circles really well not really circles, but that kind of shape. Um, if you want to drop some more water in, um, that's great. And then we can drop some more uh, burnt sienna in. Just to make it a little bit more interesting when, when it dries. Um, you can flick if you want. That's, that gives a nice effect too. Um, but in general, what we want to do is we just want to have fun. I'm just going to flick some water on there. Now, I'm going to change the colour up because I really like the, the autumn tones. So this is kind of like a, um, well, it's a maroony colour, but I'm just going to put a little bit. I had a little bit of um, burnt sienna already in my palette so I'm just mixing that and then I'm just popping a complete circle and again put some water on the paper just so I can get a really nice covering and then just drop some more watercolour in and we're just doing circles okay this is a solid one again if you just want to do a little bit of close-up splattering that's good it will it will give some nice um, leave some nice watermarks in our um, in our mushroom shape again I'm just going to do I think I'll do a bigger one now I'm going right up to the end of my paper and again I mean you can use whatever colors you you like I just particularly like these these um, cheery tones and I was out earlier today and it's the the, the change in the leaves um, here in the UK is remarkable really it's it's really changing and I think this is just a fantastic time of year. Uh, it's kind of nature's final th floray, isn't it, of of the gorgeous uh, colours that, that she's got. Okay, and then in the centre, I'm just going to do a smaller, a smaller circle. Okay. And then again, 
I'm going to just mix up a little bit of um, burnt sienna in with my nice colour of, um, of of the of the pink that I've used. The and I was going to use the um, orange red, but it it was a little bit. It's great for leaves, but it was a little bit too much. Um, I felt for the mushrooms, so I'm just going to darken that up a little bit with a bit more burnt sienna. And mushrooms do have a bit of a pink hue to them when they're fresh, don't they? And, and the older they get, the um, the darker they go. And I'm just going to drop in some more of that. I'm just going to warm that up. A little bit now this is where you can play to your heart's content because there are no hard and fast rules on this you can just keep dropping in color um, it's a creamier consistency of paint you don't have to be a slave making sure that your circles are absolutely um, in circular uh, not at all far from it um, I've got a little bit of splatter over there I'm not worried about that I'm going to go into I think I'm going to go into um, yellow ochre and I'm just going to tuck a little one in there okay and just leave that and if you go over into the the neighbor the neighboring mushroom don't worry about that that's okay now your stalk can be as big or as little as you want it's uh it's not a problem and it's as simple as that now we're going to have to leave this to dry because we're going to go back in with our pen so to save you hanging about i've done one earlier and I'm just going to set that aside without dripping it everywhere. And this is one that I've um, I've managed to, to paint and it's completely dry. And I don't know whether you, the camera's picking it up, but there's the little water spots that are, that are on it um, as well. Now, I'm going to use my pen. Um, a gel pen. This is the Ola gel pen. It was just that it was the closest one I had to hand. So I thought, why not? I'd use it. So, but you can use any ink pen that you've got. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the outside of my stalk. Don't be too precious about this. Don't think you've got to get it absolutely spot on because you haven't. Okay, and just run your pen round. Okay, as you can see, I've gone off a little bit, not worried about that. And then we're just going to put these lovely uh, gills, I think they're called, aren't they, in, in mushrooms. So you can do them as close or as wide apart as, as you want. It's entirely up to you. But just work your way round and put in your put them um, round your mushroom and just you can change them up as as well if you want to and just work your way around. So that's our first mushroom. This one, I'm just going to put some dots on this because this is a great way if you want to put some shading on on, on an area, but you don't really want to do, you don't want to colour it in, in a solid, so it's a solid mass, but you do want to give it a point of interest. And I'm just going to go around there. Okay. And... I'm just going to remind myself that I want that to 
to go there. Okay. And then just dot away and that would just give you a really nice point of interest and it you can do as much or as little as you like now i think this this just gives an a, this is a lovely technique to to use on on other things not just on mushrooms but anyway there we have it that's that one i'm just going to go around this one and then because I want to just go in there. Now, as in our other pen and inks that we've done, I like to put thicker lines, but graduating to a thinner, in a thinner line. So, so it's not completely a continual solid black line. Oh, sorry about that. And then again, I'm going to do wide gills on this one. Okay. Don't have to worry too much about that. And again, I'm just going to put a few little dots up here uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of shading, but nothing major. Now, you can do it in an arc or I I personally um, don't think it looks too great when you do it um, completely, um, when you completely cover the white space. I think it's good to keep some white space. Again, I'm just going to go into my mushroom and then just catch that bit around there. And again, round here and we didn't put such a big um, white space on this bit, which is fine because we're just, we're changing it up ever so slightly and that's, that's lovely. And again, just go round your mushroom putting in the gills okay it's really therapeutic actually doing this because it you do have to th well you do have to not think but you, you do have to pay attention because you don't want to go over the lines but you don't have to be so precise with that you can be you can relax which is what we like to do isn't it so okay i'm just going to put another line there if you want to thicken your line up absolutely you can do that now again we're just going over our um, stalk and on this one I'm not going to go around the outside. I'm going to leave that one um, as is. And if you want to change your lines up, yeah, that's good. If you want to do some close together, yep. And we just go around our mushroom. Okay. Now, you can put some dots in there if you want to, or you can can leave it blank if that's what you want to do. Absolutely fine. Um, and I'm just going around this one. And again, I'm not worrying too much. I've gone over, I'm not worried about that at all. Um, I'm going to leave this one, um, the edge free, I think. But of course, if you look at yours and think, 
I'm going to do it different. I'm going to put lines, outline all of my mushrooms. That'd be great. Try it out, see what you think. Uh, try it with different colours. Um, you might want happier colours. Um, I just thought this worked well with the autumn. Um, I'm just going to put a few little dots in here because I do want a little bit of shading and that will just aid me in that. I'll just do a few more here. I'll just darken that up. And there we have it. That's our fun little mushroom um, watercolour um, pen and ink and watercolour. If you want to um, sharpen up your lines, absolutely can. It's up to you to, to do it as much or as little as you want. This is really a lovely exercise. I do hope you give this one a go. It is lots of fun and um, I'd love to see what you do. So have a, a lovely day, morning, evening, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.